Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you got your supplies at the, uh, at the beginning of this semester and you picked the stuff up um, at school, <clears throat> you should have gotten two pieces of wire in your setup. Now, one of them was pretty long, so it was folded up, and then there was a shorter one. What you want to do with the longer piece of wire is that you want to kind of try to straighten it out the best you can. Now, it's going to have little waves in it and little bumps and things like that. That's fine. You know, we don't need it to be... Uh, straight as an arrow, but you know, we want to have it relatively straight like you see mine over here So we have a long piece And we have a short piece Okay, and they're all about the same length the long piece should be maybe a little bit longer than your arm uh, Probably uh, as long as my arm actually is what I was measuring with so we're gonna work with the long piece first And what we're making today is called an armature and the idea of creating an armature is to create basically a skeleton for our little clay man. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by folding that long piece in half. Now it's important that we try to get the uh, these ends to be about the same. So try to make sure we keep them together. We don't want, these are gonna ultimately end up being the leg and we don't want one leg to be a little bit longer than the other one. And what we can do is we really wanna just fold this wire in half. All right, it doesn't have to touch over here at the very end. It could be a small loop, but we want to kind of fold the wire in half and we want to see that we have equal ends over here. Now, when you're folding and you're doing this, that may affect what happens in the bottom over here. You can see what happened to mine. Well, I got one leg that's going to be a little bit longer than the other. So unfold it and then just do it again. Um, it doesn't take long to do this, but we want to make sure we do it right. So. Again, the number one issue here is making sure that both ends are at the same length or as close as you can make it. All right. And now at the other end, you see that, you know, it's going to have a little bit of a loop at the end of it. That's okay. So we're going to go now to that folded end over here now that I have them pretty much at the same length. What I want to do with that folded length is I want to take my wire, make it look like this where it's crisscrossing, and I just want to twist the wires. Now this might take a little bit of muscle. For some of you, this is an opportunity for you to build some muscle. But we want to loop it one time. So you can see I've twisted it. I twisted it once. I'm going to twist it again. And this little part right here, the two twists, this is going to represent the head. And again, we want to kind of make sure that our legs are pretty much the same length. Okay. All right, so I've got two twists at the top. The next thing I want to do is I want to grab this shorter piece of wire. This is going to actually be the shoulders and the arms. What I want to do is I want to place that little piece of wire right in there, approximately, approximately at the middle, and we'll be able to move this around later on, so that's not that a big deal if you're not exactly in the middle. You don't need to measure anything. just want to sort of eyeball it. And then what we want to do, you can see how I have mine, we want to twist this wire one more time. So now you can see this little piece that I put in there is sort of trapped and attached in that little loop. So I've got three little twists at the top, one and two at the beginning, one below this piece. And now you can see my arm is sort of trapped inside that little loop. All we want to do is we want to kind of make sure that we're dividing the arms up relatively equally. What we want to do is we want to fold it and we want to kind of see that we've got the same length over there. I've kind of figured out where the middle is. All right. What we want to do is we want to take those arms now that we know where the middle is and we want to kind of crisscross them. So the one that was on the right, we're going to try to bend that one so it's on the left. And the same thing 
with the other side. And the idea is that we're going to be making like a little loop there, and that way this is not going to fall off. All right? It's all going to stay over there. It's not going to slide off. But you can see really close how I've twisted that around. And again, we want to kind of make sure that these two parts of the arm are relatively equal. So if you feel like one side is really short and the other side's really long and they're not equal, well, that's a problem we want to try to fix. So we've got what's going to be the head, and we've got the arms over here. Now what we want to do is we want to kind of finish off the rest of the body. We're going to twist, again, the two wires. And what we want to do is we want to take our hand, our whole hand, pinky to thumb, closed like this. I'm going to put our pinky up against where those arms are. And then we want to go to approximately where our thumb is. Now, your hands, some of you have bigger hands and some of you have smaller hands. That's okay, because we'll be able to make hips and kind of adjust it later on. But what we want to do here is we want to kind of pick up that spot where my hand is or where your hand is, down by your thumb. We want to grab it with the other hand like I'm doing right now. And then again, we want to kind of twist this around each other once and twice. Two times should be good enough, but you could do a third if you need to. And what we're looking for is that the body is one solid piece of two pieces of wire. You can see this arm, the arms are kind of loose, but they're looped around over here so they don't fall off. We've got a little loop at the top for the head. And we've got the rest of our wire here for legs. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be the start of our armature. With that, that's all you have to do. I need you to take a couple pictures. Actually, you don't need to take more than one of this. But I'd like you to take the picture of it so I can see the entire body. So I can see if you've made it too long or too short in any one particular area. And then if you twist it together right. Remember, if you did this properly, the arms shouldn't be able to slide right off. They might flop around and stuff, but they're not going to slide right off. And again, down here by where the hips are, again, that should be approximately the thickness of your hand. If you have really tiny hands, you can go a little bit longer, but don't worry, we can always re-decide where the hips are going to be on this actual armature. And then this is what we're going to start to use to build our body. Now, I'm going to spend some time next week starting with the torso and the hips, and then we'll go to more familiar stuff like the arms and legs. But right now, you don't have to do anything else to this.